The word labyrinth, what does it bring, it, bring to your mind? Is it the movie with David Bowie in it and about the ever-changing maze? Or the more recent dark film called Pan's Labyrinth? Or does your mind go to the ancient Greek myth of Theseus and the Minotaur? Theseus having to unroll a ball of red fleece so that he could find his way out after he slayed the Minotaur in the middle of the maze. What is the difference between a maze and a labyrinth? A maze is more like a puzzle, intricate. You have to use your left brain, your logical mind, to think and problem solve your way out of it. A labyrinth, on the other hand, is about the journey. There's a beginning or an entrance and a center or a perceived goal. The many 180 degree turns send you right back in the direction you just came from. This causes you to flip-flop from left brain to right brain, thinking to feel it. The designs of the labyrinth are taken from nature herself, spirals of a nautilus shell, a fern as it unfolds and grows. The oldest designs date back over 4,000 years. Anything from square to round, with many paths or circuits as they're called, they're made out of rocks, pavers, stones, shells, carved into the sand and the beach, or even made out of spaghettios. My mentor, Robert Ferre, when he was doing a speech at a school, actually made his labyrinth out of cans that they were collecting for a food drive. What is it about a labyrinth, you ask, that is motivational? Well, let me put it to you this way. How open are you to receiving? Whether it's a compliment or a gift given to you on some other occasion that's not even a special occasion. When you're given a compliment, is it your habit to compliment the person back automatically? Or do you brush it off saying, what, this old thing? Or, oh, it was nothing. Do you allow yourself to actually receive? A labyrinth offers everyone a place to find a quiet place to reflect, to be open and receive, whether you're walking with your feet or tracing one with your fingers in a portable board. It allows you a place to meet yourself. You're asking, what, what am I going to receive in a labyrinth? You're going to receive yourself, meet yourself. It allows you space to be in the now, to be in the moment, to allow yourself to see the good parts, the shadow parts, place of quiet retreat and solitude away from the distractions and the influence of this multitasking high-speed world. A labyrinth, rather than being a problem to solve, allows you space to solve problems. So, are your hands open or closed? Are your fists clenched? Are you open and ready to be receiving? Are you ready to come and take a walk with me and let go of preconceived notions and ideas? Come, take a walk with me in the center of the labyrinth, to the center of yourself, and be open to receive. Thank you. Thank you.